The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. Oh, he shifts past him. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. I still remember a scouting report that a former Giants GM had on Eli Manning coming out of Mississippi. He simply said he has it. And we always talk about the it factor, which means they're going to play large in big moments, in key situations, and Eli Manning has always had that. First carry for Leonard Fournette. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Second down and the offense needing five yards. Here's a give to Fournette. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. For the 49ers, their starters defensively, and I got to look at DeForest Buckner. Love him. Tall, angular. What you worry about with guys like that is can they bend and play with leverage? And DeForest Buckner absolutely can. Did everything that was asked of him at Oregon. He's going to have a big-time career with the 49ers. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. To throw is Manning. And incomplete here on third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So on fourth down, here's Brad Nortman on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. Carry now for Hyde. A gain of three, second down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. I've been a big fan of Carlos Hyde since his days at Ohio State. A big, strong, physical runner. Nimble feet. Excellent vision downfield. And what I like about him when he's at his best, his ability to wear down a defense if he gets 20 or more carries in a game. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. 
And we take you through the starting defense for Jacksonville. When the 2016 NFL Draft concluded, many people looked at Jacksonville and thought, boy, what a steal they got in Jalen Ramsey at cornerback and Miles Jack at linebacker. But Yannick Ngakwe out of Maryland, he ended up finishing second in the AFC among rookies in sacks with eight, and they got a steal at outside linebacker. So he just tossed it away, but that brings up fourth. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. So on fourth down, out comes Bradley Pinion to punt this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. That'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. But there's a reason he was the first running back taken. You saw the ability there, the ability to be physical and get downhill. And how about him breaking off a nice game there? There's some Adrian Peterson comparisons out there now. That's high praise. Do you think that they're warranted? Running style, very similar. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They keep it with Fournette on first down. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Second down following the run. Off the bootleg. Manning. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. down carry and a solid run down inside the 30 it's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine Manning the throw on second down. Now they go screen. It's complete. <laughs> and he's brought down. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Into the red zone now. Manning. A dump off for Ivory. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. Can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now Manning throwing on second down. This will be caught at about the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal of the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Give Fournette another crack, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there, taking it in from a yard out, and the Jags are able to cash in for six. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. That time a nine-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. They go play action here on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Hey, partner, I want to sidestep for a second. Week 15, Raiders-Cowboys. I know you saw that crazy <laughs> first down measurement. Very, very controversial. Look, it didn't pass the eye test. And what I mean by that is when they put the ball down and brought the chains out, you couldn't just look at it and say first down or not. Balls, you know, the nose of the ball was over. I mean, you had everyone eyeing it, looking at it. It's about making sure the posts are, are, are directly at 90 degrees. Do you need a leveler out there? I mean, everything was going on in the discussion. And finally, Gene Steratore, the referee, pulls an index card out of his back pocket to slide it between the football and the marker and signals first down. Now, we haven't seen that since, what, Bill Vinovich? Yeah. Was that 2013? 2013. Not an everyday occurrence, no. but you do what you have to do to get the job done. So anyone wants to put a computer chip in the football, this is a great time to bring that idea back. I think Jack Del Rio might want to put a chip in the football. <laughs> no doubt. They'll run it now out of the gun. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now out come the Jags. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First down, Manning. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's brought down after a good game. Give him 30 yards there. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. From midfield, here's Manning. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On 
second down, here's Manning. Throw left side, complete. It's Cole. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third down, Manning. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more after this. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, unless you decide to skip him. And for the record, we do not encourage that. Here's Brad Nordman now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. And tough starting field position here. Back near his goal line. Here's Garoppolo. He'll find Goodwin here on the right side. A good pick up there. 26 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 35. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there for the Niners. 46 yards. In today's NFL, it might have surprised some people, but San Francisco was really, really hot to pick up Kyle Juszczyk from Baltimore, and they acquired him. Why? He can do everything. Block it? Yeah, of course he can. But he can catch the ball well out of the backfield, too. Led all fullbacks in receptions the last two years and played in his first Pro Bowl a season ago. to go in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Garoppolo again. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. 
But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. This will be caught at about the five. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 12 year veteran knocks it right through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. And a long way to go. They started that drive at their own three, and they scored three from it. What an excellent job by an offense that could have very easily just said, okay, let's just take a few plays safe, pump the ball away, and play some defense. Instead, they found a way to attack and put themselves in position to put points on the board. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Jags and Leonard Fournette making their way onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. first down play we're going to get a timeout here as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one so the offense takes the timeout and they are back out and ready to rock Manning. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Oh, 
So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Working from the gun. Manning firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. Manning the throw once more. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Brad Nortman now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. The kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. to get this up over the 20 to the 21. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Jaguars out on top. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Set to return, here's Raheem Mostert. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Garoppolo on first and ten. To the right side, caught by Salah. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much game than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Here's Hines. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. And some space here. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. the 25. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Well, they're certainly running the ball pretty well on this drive and all I remember as a secondary guy was if you're making a lot of tackles in a game, that's usually not good for your defense. You've got to figure out how to keep things in front of you because you know there's three levels. Defensive line, linebackers, and into the secondary. And if the third level is leading your team in tackles, as a general rule, things aren't going so well for your defense. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards on the pickup. And just like that, it's third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and 2. And to give this time to the tailback. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A great effort there. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Niners are able to cash in for six. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game? Because on that particular play, they had no answer. And his kick is right through. So that drives seven plays in length and was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line. Pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. 
They begin with a run by Fournette. And an alley to run. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Second down, here's Fournette. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll toss it to Fournette, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. That defensive front four has been very good. They've just not let the running game get going, have they? Not at all. In fact, the entire offense just looking a little bit out of sync in this one. Yeah, sometimes this is why coaches like four down defensive linemen. They feel like they can cover more ground when defending the run. tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards will get him back to the original line of scrimmage, but now they're looking at third and 10. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. The Jaguars on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. To throw, it's Manning. The 49ers get there. DeForest Buckner in there to drop it for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Brad Nordman now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. This will be fielded at the 17. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. past him. Still fighting. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big chunk on the ground there. Plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender's bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. All right, here we go. 
On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. Now a run with high. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking out play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. Complete. He was looking for Trent Taylor there, and it's second down. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Let's go! Blue Blue Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. It'll be a two-yard game, and they're going to have a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. Pass incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. Let's go! Over, over! Over, over! On second down, high. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. 
I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. The Niners on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. carry heading left he needed nine he got eight and that's going to leave him with a fourth and one on their side of the field i love the look you just gave me because I, I know what you're thinking if you're going to run towards the perimeter you better either stay in bounds or get the first down or both he didn't either imagine the looks he's getting right now from his team from his coaches they go over those scenarios all the time and as you said he didn't either So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Please tell me this doesn't come off as snarky, but that's a relative chip shot. I mean, you've got to be able to execute that one. I don't care what they design on the other side about trying to block the kick. That should be three points on the board. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. If you're out at 55, 60 yards, low trajectory from here, you get that thing up, this should be three. Yeah, I, there's nothing routine in football, but this one really almost should be. Snap, hold, kick, ball through the post. Didn't happen that way. little game. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 30 yards there. Back to throw. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Fresh set of downs here. Fournette. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. They'll run it again with Fournette. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Back to throw. And that's complete to Lewis. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. 
And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they hurry to the line. Manning to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. Late game. That hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. And this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. False start, offense. Well, the crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They run the counter to Ivory. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. Ivory. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker, hit a big spot here. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready.
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. Four quarters not enough. We're all even and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Jaguars getting set to go. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime... That gets double, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. On first and ten, here's Manning. Gonna find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. So the offense has it first and 10. Running left, it's Fournette. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. Go, go. 
Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Airing it out for Hearns. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Second down now after the incompletion. To throw again. Manning. He finds Hearns left side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Manning now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Manning will try again on second down. Dumps it off to Fournette. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it third down. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. Now Manning again. This will be caught at about the five. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the four-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield get themselves in a position to score and win this game. And the offense inside the five here at the four. It's first and goal. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. False start, offense. So that'll back him up five. First and goal here from the nine. Again, it's Manning. And he's got it. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the I, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's go back to what you talked about before, getting his feet down. Would you say dotting the I? Mm -hmm. I can cross the T as well. That was excellent footwork to get in bounds and make a great catch. Offense looks to punch it in here from the one on second and goal. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll wind up being a 
loss of two. And that is going to set up third and goal. Now, that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelmed, because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. Biggest play now in this opening drive of overtime. This is third and goal. From the gun, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. After that throw, and it was definitely one that he would love to have back. I wonder what's going through his head. I wonder what kind of mind game he's playing with himself to get himself back on track. Because a lot of guys, that's what they do. They have little triggers that when the mechanics are off or if they make a bad throw, that they go to that place to get themselves back in sync. And Lambo will put this one through. And they will take the lead at 13-10. All right, so they're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT, and now it'll be up to their defense to try and see this one out. So remember now, a field goal on this next drive would get us to sudden death. Any kind of turnover or turnover on downs would end the game, as would any touchdown. So this one's still very much up in the air. Now after the made field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. This one taken just inside the 10. Room here to run. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. There are no flags. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. And an amazing Touchdown. return wins it in OT. See it making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top.